whenever we come out or wherever you go, it may not seem that someone that it may seem okay. Well, there's not much people, or that nobody wants to listen. But there's always gonna be there. There could always be one person that needs to hear about Christ. And so tonight, God has moved in a mighty way. People, um, we've been handing out steps to Christ, um, ministry of healings. We've been handing out a lot of these books because. You know, time is running short and you know, health message, everything needs to go. And so we just want to say that God has moved in a mighty way. Matthew 24, 14 is coming very soon. here tonight with a group of young people and we wanted to share the love of Jesus and what Jesus has done in our lives and of course like every time every time we're going to do an old preach for Jesus the weather just seems to be really bad you know and a lot of people can get discouraged in those moments right but we were like no you know what we'll do we'll get together we'll pray we prayed we prayed we prayed and then you know people just started coming out and we just started handing books out. We've handed out so many books tonight. We got to talk to so many people. It was amazing, you know. And, you know, handing out this book here, Steps to Christ. Beautiful book. Um, if you haven't read it, I recommend everyone to use read it. But, yeah, just tonight what happened, man, was powerful. Because, really, it truly proved once again that no matter what the devil wants to do, how he wants to discourage us, wants to try to make it hard for us, you know, God will always prevail. Because all you need to do is have faith in Him and trust in Him. And no matter how hard it might seem, God will get us through, you know, and that's what happened tonight. It was powerful. We got to talk to so many people, so many beautiful testimonies. We've made friends. We've, you know, invited people to church. And yeah, we just want to encourage people again. Just come out. Come out with us. Not even with us. Go out by yourselves. Just hit the streets. Pray to the Lord. Ask Him to, to help you, to, to use you, to guide you. And you'll be able to go out and do many things, great things in His name. And that's, it happened again tonight. And we just want to thank the Lord for that. Thank you. Praising you, praising you from heaven, praising you from the highest high, praising with all of your angels, praising with all of your hosts, I'll praise with the sun. Yes, it was. How did you like it? It was amazing. It was a blessing, massive blessing. Can you tell us any specific experiences that you had tonight? Um, hearing people's experience, testimonies really. It's just amazing how just everyday people have testimonies. And do you recommend anyone do this? Yes, I would. I would. <laughs> Uh, it's been really good. Um, haven't really been a lot of people that have showed up. Like apparently, like heavy winds have just cleared the entire place out. So we thought it was going to be really packed, but you know God can still work with even the bare minimal. You know God still works with scarcity. So we've had you know talks with a lot of people. You know we've spread the love of Christ in really powerful ways. You know, we had um, a big talk with a couple intellectual giants. You know like teachers at universities that teach religion, and so been really good you know we've got heaps of contacts we've spread out and gave out heaps of great controversies desire of ages you know um, the ministry of healings so yeah it's been really good and uh, we look forward to seeing you next month yeah. man it's, honestly man it's it's been um it's, it's been a blessing tonight man just to share share the word of Christ again and man like Nathan was saying, man, we just we've been speaking to like a lot of teachers from the universities and, and things like that that um really interesting man and they were interested in what we were doing here tonight. Um and like for us, man, it was just a blessing just to, to share um what Christ has shown us, man, and just to be a blessing for everyone else that's out there, man. Praise God. You think it's 
thank you Lord for the divine appointments that you have um, allowed us to have Lord with the people that we have met, the literature that has been handed down. We're just so thankful, Lord, that you are a faithful God, Lord. We were discouraged at first, first, Lord, with the numbers. But, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we were big to spirit in the name of Jesus. And you gave us the power, Lord, just to, to stand out there and just to be your messengers, Lord. Whether we hand out, hand out literature or whether we just shared the love, Lord, or whether we just shared with someone about their journey, Lord. We're just so thankful, the Lord, that you have brought us here for a purpose. And that purpose is to draw all men to you. So we're so thankful, Lord, that you have used us this evening. We are so thankful that we are able to do this work on the Sabbath. Mm. We are so thankful, Lord, that you will continue to bless this work, bless the preaching place, Lord, and bless the young people as they come and as they, they continue to spread your word. Thank you, Father, for all that you have done, Lord. We ask that you will please forgive us for the wrongs that we have done as well. And we pray all these things in a wonderful and precious name. Amen. Amen. Um, stay tuned for the next Oral Preach for Jesus. We do this last Friday every month. Um, don't miss out and um, preach in place final messengers Matthew 24 14 so come out again with us you know come to the streets witness and um, come and share the love of Christ because people need to know and time is time is truly is truly almost up so um, we just want to uh, just praise the Lord man praise God for what he's done man so amen Can't explain the way I feel. I love.